Well, they're in Montana there. It was about three hours from where we lived. No, that's fine. And uh, so I went, I told my wife, I said, I'm going to go up to them seven peaks and pray. And uh, she said, when are you coming back? I said, I don't know. And so I left. It took me a couple of days to get there because uh, I was camping. And, and you can only get about eight miles. It, you still have to walk eight miles to get to the seventh peak. The first peak, the highway goes right on the base of the first peak. And uh, so I went back into that seventh peak, and I camped. And then I started up that seventh peak. And on, if, I don't know if anybody's got a picture of you. You said I got a, a footprints on the sands of time book or something. Uh, anyway, it's on my home. The seventh peak goes up real high, about 13,000 feet. And it looks like it comes to a sharp point. And then it comes down like this, and it goes out further. I've been up there, so I know how it's about two miles. Then it's just a ridge like this, and then it drops down to the valley. Well, that ridge is two miles long. It's only about that wide on the top, and that's it. You know, you're going two miles, and it's not straight down, but it's you don't want to try to climb it. It's very mm -hmm. steep. So I was going along that ridge. It was July 4th. And I looked to the north and heard the storm was coming out of the north. And I was like, oh, man, I don't want to get caught on this ridge, you know, and, and the storm coming like that. And so I looked about a half a mile up, and there was a little wide spot and a pile of rocks. I thought, well, if I get to that little pile of rocks, I'll get down behind them rocks, you know, wait for this storm to go. So I was trying to hurry. I couldn't hurry fast enough. The storm caught me. And so I turned around. I thought, well, I might as well face it like a man. You know, I thought, you know. <laughs> so I so I turned to face that storm and it was probably from here to the road and it was like it just came in just real fast and stopped. And I it looked like and felt like that storm was watching me. What on earth? And then it thundered five times. Not boom, you know, it was just kind of a real gentle. And I was like, oh boy. And then it was just like somebody took it and just bam. I mean, it was winds, I, I'm guessing around 60, 70 miles an hour. Snowing and I was holding on. And I didn't want to get blown off the side. You know, and I, you couldn't see nothing. The storm just clouds everywhere. The snow was so thick. And uh, so I was hanging on, trying not to get blown off the side. And uh, somebody come out and stood beside me. And when they stood beside me, you know, I couldn't see a face or anything like that, but somebody was standing there. And my life started going to this person. I, it, it was just going. And I was like, man, I'm going to die up here in this storm. And I was getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And I thought, well, you know, I've done a lot of missionary work, you know, had guns pulled on me, knives, been punched, you know, for all kinds of stuff. That didn't change that at all. And whatever this presence was, it was controlling it, and it was taking my life. I thought, man, even all my good things don't mean nothing to this person. And uh, so I thought, well, I've done some pretty bad things too, you know. I've fought with knives, I've fought with guns, I've, I've been a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I thought about all them things. It'd make one bit of difference. I thought, man, what on earth? And getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And a voice spoke and said, William Branham lived in this every day. And I said, if this is what it takes to have a supernatural gift, I don't want one. Because you don't have control. Nothing. I don't care. You, you can't do nothing. If that don't do it, you ain't doing it. And uh, I was like, whoa, this is not what I thought it would be, you know. And so I don't know how long I was there, but finally I said, Lord, if you'll let me get off this mountain alive, I'll tell people that I've stood in your presence and all of my good works and all of my bad works means nothing. It's simply your grace. That storm was gone like that. If I hadn't been laying in about a foot of snow, I wouldn't have thought that storm had ever happened. Hmm. Sun was shining, there was no clouds, 
It was about 60 degrees, and there was about a foot of snow. Hmm. Wow. And there was no snow when that, when that storm started. <laughs> and I stood up, and I looked around, I looked off this side, and I looked off this side, and to the north is where my truck was parked eight miles away. So I looked to the north, down that slope, and I just turned and I went off the side. And there was literally millions of rocks. No vegetation, that's too high. Vegetation wouldn't grow. Foot of snow on them rocks. I walked down the side of that hills about a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred feet to get back down to grass. And I went right down the side like that. It was just like walking across this floor. I never slipped. Mm. I never held on with my hands.